Okay, so this is a demo of pretty much instant closure startup. Uh, and uh, I just wanted to kind of do this to show to myself that it's possible. Um, and as far as you as a user are concerned, you can't really tell that it's doing stuff behind the scenes to make it look like it's starting up quickly. Um, and that's kind of what you want. I think a lot of people kind of have this perception or they 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 know that the closure ripples take a while to start up. And that's because when you do start it, you sit there and wait until the prompt shows up. And then you're allowed to type. And especially with, like, I think, things like line, it takes a while to do various network things. But I just wanted to kind of ex do an experiment to show that um, with closure itself, you can do the same thing that, that Plonk is doing. Plonk, when you start it, it immediately shows you the prompt and it starts, you know, starts initializing the JavaScript engine in the background and, and uh, lets you type. And so I just wanted to show you that Clojure can do the same thing. Uh, and the trick there uh, to make this do this is actually pretty simple. The If, if you look at the way Clojure starts up um, its, its main, it basically has some, um, has some some static bars that it initializes. So even to, to initialize these things would take like, say like half a second or so. Um, so I basically nulled those out so they're not being initialized and, and play a little trick here where at the beginning of main, um, it prints those things. They're kind of hard coded and static. Uh, they print out immediately. And then it basically proceeds to re reflectively do all the same stuff that would have been done by Java, basically um, initializing those vars, invoking methods on it. And then one other little thing is um, right here in the REPL code, um, there's a part where it, it um, prints the very first prompt uh, after things are up and going. Um, and I just commented that out because I'm statically printing it in the code that I showed below. Uh, and then right here is a little bit that I commented out that would actually show the closure version. Um, so with those two changes, it's kind of like you see, you, you kind of have like this perception that the REPL is pretty much there, like milliseconds after you start it. Um, all right, thanks for watching.